Welcome back everyone, Neof is here again, and we're up to episode 17 now. We just left off from episode 16 where I was still filling in with sand and trying to half slab things over and whatnot, so I decided, well, I'm going to quickly get that finished and before I start the next episode. So, <clears throat> I now have a stone brick wall around everything here, as you can see. And, like I say, I've half slapped it all over, so now it's safe. I don't need torches in this area anymore. Oh, and the sun's rising. How beautiful. I love this Missa texture pack. Everything looks so beautiful with it. Even the clouds have a nice flare to them. I lit up that island over there, because it was close enough to where mobs could spawn and sneak up behind me, so I decided, hmm, I'm going to get that lit up a little bit. There is that island over there, but it's not really connected to me, so it'll take them a while to float over and I'll notice them. So I uh, dug out this perimeter here. Uh, I figure this is about all the space I'm going to need, I hope. I might still need to dig out just a little bit over here to put my redstone hopper clock in, but uh, that's about it. So I'll take you down and show you. Here's what we got down here. So this is where I'm going to uh, have the, the water uh, that that pushes them down the canal this way. So, um, but first I want to pop in the pistons. want to get to that and get that done. It, no, it's not really the right spot. I will need to have, yeah, a line here, I believe, yeah. On this side. And then over on this side... It's going to be a little different. Because it goes here instead. Oop, one extra. Okay, so we get up there and put them in. That's not the way I wanted it, though. Can I get on the right angle for it? Yeah. I just got to get on a sharp enough angle. And what this is going to do is shift the, these pistons are going to shift the floor back and forth for me to make the mobs fall through. So first these pistons will fire and push the whole floor this way. Then a second or two later these pistons will fire and push the floor that way. Okay, so I got those ones in. Jeez. Eh, yeah, with it being a block and a half up I can't actually jump up to get back up there. Yipes. Okay, so I gotta do a similar thing here. Mm -hmm. Run it along there. Ooh, I almost stepped off. <laughs> and a similar thing here, except this one goes a little bit further. Oops. I dunned it again. <laughs> and I don't really have a way to get up there, so let's hope I can pop these pistons in where I'm standing. Good. I've seen uh, someone else do this, and they had the whole thing oriented differently. And I don't know if I ever pointed this out. This platform is seven wide and nine long. And I ended up taking it this way, just so I don't have to use those extra two pistons. If I was pushing it back and forth this way, I would need uh, nine pistons on each side. So uh, that would be a total of eight extra pistons compared to this. So I decided, hmm, I'm going to do it the way that takes less pistons. Uh, that might be a mistake knocking these out now. <laughs> I'll wait till I get to the bottom one and figure that out because <clears throat> yeah because I think I'm going to need to have blocks up there yeah I should have left them in darn <laughs> okay let's put these back because I'm going to need blocks there anyway and 
for the most part this is going to be a wood project so I think I'm going to just put wood under there so I better go get some now. I brought a whole bunch or at least I hope it's a whole bunch enough. Yeah so I got oak here. So lots of wood yep. There. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that the way this is going to be done is that I'll have wood blocks here to put the uh, repeaters onto. And I'll have wood blocks here to put repeaters onto as well. Or should I be using half slab blocks? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Can they spawn on there when there's a repeater on there? Hmm. Hold on, I gotta check something. Okay, I checked into it and... Uh, putting a half slab up there won't help me any good because it's a, a slab at half normal height that stops mobs from spawning. So, because uh, if I put the slab there, it's at the regular height. So what I have to do is cover that over with half slabs afterwards just to uh, protect it. That's about the only thing I can think of to do. But at the same time, I think I'm going to do this just a little differently anyway. Um, <coughs> let's see here. Um, get back to the, the wood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wood under here. And then I'm going to have wood here. And that's going to represent where the repeaters go. And I have to leave this level clear in order to keep the spawning efficiencies up. So that's the way that's going to work now. Um, yeah. And I guess, yeah, because uh, what I'm going to do is the repeaters will go on to this layer I'm putting in, and that will power the blocks that are underneath the pistons is what's going to happen there. So, um... From here, let's go up and fix this now. So here, I don't want the dirt. And I also don't want this wood. <coughs> and I don't need this dirt. I'm going to have to jump down from here. <laughs> and what I do want is wood here. And we'll show you why. <coughs> I have my repeaters. And I'm going to have repeaters all along here. And then I will have redstone all along there. Okay. And I'll power that one way or another. Now I gotta jump down and go to the other side and do a similar thing. Except we'll do it from here. Looks like I'm gonna need a little more redstone. Uh, let's put the food away for a second here. And we'll get rid of this dirt here. Oh, and I did uh, go digging to find out the true difference between dirt and soil. And uh, in a sort of simple way, soil is something that you get on you. And dirt is something that's... Uh, or, no, soil is something that's under your feet. And dirt is something that you get on you. 
Okay, so uh, in the truest sense, uh, dirt is lifeless and soil isn't. So uh, you can grow things in soil, but you can't grow things in dirt. Because uh, as much as it might not seem like it, dirt is, or soil is alive. It has a lot of microbes in it and stuff that helps other stuff live. <laughs> so, uh, that's the real long and short of it. So that's why I, I uh, occasionally tend to want to call it uh, soil instead of dirt. Okay, so from here, I'm going to need to put them in there. That's if I can break them. Oh, isn't that kind of cute, eh? Don't we love that laggy McLaggins plug-in that keeps you from breaking blocks? Jeez. And they wonder why I complain about the lag, eh? Jeez. It's like, oh, we gotta have it. You gotta have the Uncle X-Ray plug-in there. I call it Uncle because my auntie would never make such a mess of things. But, uh, yeah, so... <coughs> It's no good here. I need to have... I'm just trying to mark my position here. I'll come under and break them now. <laughs> okay. Oh, they seem to break a little easier from underneath, eh? And we'll need under here, too. Okay, and same deal here. Oops. Really, now. Okay, it's going to fall forever until we break the block next to it. Okay, so we need the wood blocks here. And let's get a soil block. Dirt, that is. <laughs> and it goes there. And same deal over here, is we want these under here. Then we'll get a dirt block there. And more of these under here. And we need another layer like this too. We'll go up and clean this up after. and get the uh, redstone started on that. And I'm glad that I uh, got the place cleaned up a bit here. Because that way, there are not going to be any mobs spawning nearby. They can spawn, I believe, on those uh, pistons though, which is not a good thing. But in the end, we'll we'll worry about that some other way. Or I don't know, maybe they can't spawn on pistons. Yeah, it seems to me they can't spawn on pistons. It would be a good thing if they can. Okay, and get rid of these. Yeah, so I'm just going to get the structure in place here first. And then later, we'll worry about trying to cover things up and make it prettier looking. Uh, there. And we definitely need some more of this stuff. Yeah, like that. <coughs> and like this. And I'm thinking what I have to do is get those slabs back, and they're going to have to go like this in here to cover that, so that things can't be spawning there. And that's sort of how uh, Daedalus did it on his... Uh, we're kind of partly following his design here, 
and partly not. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm back to having fun trying to get up uppity uppity thing happening again here. Okay, let's go up this way. Yeah, being half slabs, it's, <laughs> it's really difficult placing blocks and getting on and stuff like that. Well, there's still that half slab there. Let's see if I can get it. I did. Jeez, okay, I just never actually stepped along there. Is there any inside? Oh, no, there isn't going to be any inside here because uh, there's no gap there. Okay. Did I just take the long way around? <laughs> oh, jeez. Huh. Well, I thought uh, I was timing, but uh, it looks like I'm not, so we'll just have to wing it this episode here. I'm only going to go so far, and then I'm going to stop and start a new episode again. Okay, so here I'm going to <laughs> not be able to complete this. This will cover over. Oh, wait a second. That's not right. I'm doodling this wrong. But see, these have to be at the half height level. Even if they're half slabs, if they're not at the right level, mobs will be able to spawn on them. Oops. Jeez. Good going there, Neo. They have to be at that level. Yeah. That's where they have to be. Okay. So maybe with those ones started, I won't need to get in a position where I can't be there. Okay, yeah, I can stand here now. And I'm gonna run out. <laughs> oh, this is good. There, and that's my last half, half schlab. So I gotta go get more anyway. Jeez. Okay, let's go make some more. You're wondering why I jump all the time like that. It's you move just a little bit faster when you're jumping. Just that little bit faster. Okay. Back up we go. And this time, I'm not even going out there. Okay, and can we do it here? Yes. Okay. Oops. Oopsie. Jeez. Am I bumbling good or what? Okay, so let's get back down and we'll try and figure out how to power this. Um, what I'm going to do, one, two, three blocks over. Uh, I've got to figure out where I'm putting the timer. And I'm thinking of putting it in the back. But that might not be the best spot. Um, and we're going to need to have some sort of way to run it across there as well. Unless we make use of both sides of the timer, which might be a, a better idea, you know? Because, see, if I can... Bear with me here. Oops. See, if I have a torch right here, that powers the pistons, right? But we don't want that one first. If we do the same thing over here, there. Yeah, you heard them. 
and it should have pushed all of those slabs over one. Yeah, you can see it pushed them all, and I lost my lighting. <laughs> as long as I stay within 24 blocks, it doesn't matter if this is lit or not. Oh, that now that's peculiar. It didn't muff up my signs, though. It muffed up the torches, but it didn't muff up the signs. Well, I don't need these signs right now, anyway. Uh, that's peculiar. Yeah, very peculiar. Okay, so, uh, beyond this point is space I've got to work with. But I get the feeling I'm going to need more space than I think here for this, uh, uh, timer. So the best place for me to put it is centered here, behind them all. Hmm. Okay, well, um... Hold on a sec while I kind of work out the details here. Okay, I think I know what I need to do here. Um... Uh, I thought about it a little bit, and what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to dig out a little cavern under this point here, but not at the moment, in order to set the clock in. And because that clock has a left and a right side that alternate, I'm going to have one side activate this piston, and then a few seconds later it'll activate this one. So they'll jump back and forth. And so I need to have this at the other end to start with. And something I didn't mention is this is not the floor. I'm going to put a wood floor in here. So it'll all be like uh, all the way to the, the opening, right? Actually, it's just going to be at the opening here. So that's the corner. And this is another corner. And this is another corner. And finally, right here, this is another corner. So this will be all flooring here in order to uh, uh, channel the mobs. Actually, and it's not, it's only going to be three on each side, and then it goes, it's going to go down one. Let me put that in. It'll only take a minute. And same thing here. And we're going to have a three wide channel that you know, brings the mobs along here. And, uh, then this will all go down one more. Yeah, I knew that was about to happen. Ha ha, we have a spare. Like so. You got more? Yeah. There, like that. So this is not part of it. There'll actually be a wall here. So, uh, because of the way this is going to be designed, I won't be able to have the torch where I was showing it there. It's going to need to be right here instead. Oops. No, not there. Doing. <laughs> Derp! Right there. <laughs> so we'll have redstone coming up in like a ladder of some sort to activate it. And same thing at this end. We will have redstone coming to. No, no, here. To activate here. And that'll only activate when this one's turned off. How did that one overpower this one? 
<laughs> Somehow it did though. Because <laughs> they are pushed up against those blocks. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I didn't expect it to be able to push once one was already pushed. But it doesn't matter. It'll only be activating one at a time. And over here, what I'm going to have... Now, we'll do it out the back side just so that uh, it's not visible. Or as visible. We're going to need to have this sort of thing. So we'll have a repeater here. And then a torch, and then a block, and then another torch, <coughs> and I can't get up there, because <laughs> we'll need a uh, another block on top of that torch, oh I can get up there, right there, and then I need redstone up there to uh, activate that, so that the top gets activated. Let's see if we can do that. Take a look. So we'll have uh, a bit of redstone here. And that activates that. Yay, it works! Yay, yippee! Yay! <laughs> And something else I thought about while I was at it is that that is a high enough spot in there for spiders to spawn. So I'm going to have to light it at each end. Uh, so get rid of this and get this back. I'll need to get rid of this. And... Get a torch here. And a similar deal down at this end. We'll get rid of this. Oops. <laughs> I oopsed again. Did I oops in the right spot? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. We'll need it to be right there. want to have, no, nope, I did oops in the wrong spot here. I oopsed it really good there. Okay. Um, yeah, because we're going to need a block there, and that way we can put a torch here as well. And these will be covered over with the half slabs as usual. There, so that you know, there's no opening available there. And a similar thing here. Cover it there as well. Yeah, we're going to have some kind of covering out the front of this anyway. So, that way... Oh, I can get up there, too. Um, <clears throat> and at the same time, we're going to need to have... half slabs covering the tops of these pistons. So we'll have solid blocks along there that I removed, then some half slabs here, and we'll have this mostly filled in as well. And we need to do something similar out at this end as well now. So before I forget, we'll need to have lighting out here. Get a full torch here, or a full slab there, and get that, and then cover it over. And then at this end, where I thought I was going to do it this way, I'm not. And we need to have this pretty much identical to the way I had it over here. Yeah. So we'll get a... Uh, full block here with the, the repeater in here and then we need this replaced with a full block as well so 
so that we can put a torch up on it and a block on top of it with the torch off to the side and then a block beside that and then we can go up and put the redstone on it It was right here we needed redstone. Yeah, we don't actually have uh, that being powered from underneath right now. But it will work when the power is there, right? So let's try that. Let's, uh, while we're here, we'll put, get the, the lighting in here as I was mentioning. Light. And we have the half slab over that. There, so it's lit from both ends. Good. <coughs> and so we didn't have this powered like I was saying. Um, so like, uh, we don't need this. And we have to depower this one first. So they retract. Then I can come and power this one. <laughs> Don't get confused here. No, not that way. It was this way. There. Yeah, I shouldn't have left this extra block here. Oh no, I put that one there because I need it for the torch. So, that should have pushed all the blocks back now. Okay, so they're all pushed back. Good. And then if I remove that torch, they all let go, and then power it here, and they all push back again. Yeah, so I just got to get the timer in place that does that, and I guess that will move us up to like the next episode to do that, because we're all out of time. So, thanks for checking this out with me, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, take care. And until the next episode, this is Neofiz signing out.